Hello my dear friends, today we will show you how to install Windows XP on a modern PC. Let's get to it. Here is my PC specs. Intel i9-9900K, Nvidia GTX 1080, 32GB of RAM and MSI Z390 motherboard. There are two issues that you will have during Windows installation on a modern PC. First is a blue screen error 60 5 It appears because Z390 motherboard has a newer ACPI version than Windows XP supports. You can skip ACPI check by pressing F7 during installation. But when you did this, and another error will appear 607B. 7B error appears because Windows XP doesn't have new HCI drivers for modern motherboards. To fix it you need to integrate HCI driver right into Windows XP image. How to do this? I will show you. First, we need a special program called Enlight. Using this program you can integrate drivers into Windows XP image. Then we need to download a special HCI drivers from Google Drive. All the links will be in the description. Now download a Windows XP image and unzip it to your local drive. Open Enlight program. Select folder with unzipped XP files. Next, select driver and bootable ISO image. Now click multiple drivers. Select folder with HCI drivers that we have downloaded before. The HCI drivers list will appear. We need to select the same ID that you have installed on your motherboard. To find this, go to Device Manager, find HCI controller, click Properties, Hardware and ID. And here is the number that you have to select in Enlight program. In my case, I must select A352 as you can see on your screens. If you don't have your number in the list, go to Windows Forum and try to find it there. Next, done. Our image is ready. Now we'll burn it to CD. You can use Ultra ISO or Nero for this action. Remember, better to use CD-ROM or DVD-ROM to install Windows XP. If you will use a USB flash drive, it can cause problems. Open the boot menu, select SD or DVD-ROM. Now don't forget to press F7 to skip AC patch. Setup menu appears. Next, good news. As you can see, setup can detect M2 SSD, so you can install Windows XP on a new M2 SSD, which is very nice. You can format the disk if you want. Next, now we are stuck in reboot. It happened because of mismatch ACPI versions. The setup gives commands, but BIOS doesn't recognize them. Nothing to worry about. You can restart it manually by long pressing power button. Type computer name, date and time settings. Next, type your name. And here it is, Windows XP on a modern hardware. Let's check system properties. And what we see? Intel 9-9900K and 2GB of RAM. Why only 2? Because we have installed 32-bit version of Windows XP. I tried to integrate HCI driver into Windows XP 64-bit image, but by some reason it didn't work. When I try to turn off PC, that message appears. It happens because of ACPI incompatibility, as I already said. You can turn it off manually by long pressing power button. This action will not cause any damage to your PC. What about drivers? MSI Z390 doesn't have any drivers for Windows XP. They are only for Windows 10. That's why LAN card, audio and USB ports will not work in at all. But you can install an old LAN card that support Windows XP. This one, for example. Internet is working well, as you can see on your screens. OK, but how to connect a mouse and a keyboard if USB ports doesn't work? It? Modern motherboards have at least one PS2 port. For example, my motherboard has only one PS2 port. But how we can connect a mouse and a keyboard at the same time? Simple. You can buy a PS2 splitter and connect it to your motherboard. What about GPU? Nvidia 1080 doesn't have any drivers for Windows XP. So the only option is to install a graphic card that has Windows XP support. This one, for example. Everything is working well, as you can see on your screens. You even can play games on it. AMD chipsets have more Windows XP support than Intel, so if you have AMD, you will have less issues with drivers. You can find a lot of Windows XP drivers for Intel and AMD chipsets on the WinRate forum. Link will be in the description. That's how you can install Windows XP on a modern PC. If you have any questions, you can leave it at the comment section below. If this video helps, press like and don't forget to subscribe. See you later, bye.